Washington's NFL team has a new look. The temporarily renamed Washington football team tweeted video of workers taking down murals at their facilities, saying they are starting fresh. They also changed their uniforms, now featuring just the players' numbers on the helmets. No more logo. This morning, we're hearing from Native American activists who spent their lives advocating for this kind of change. They're talking about why this is about so much more than a team name. Kira Phillips has that story. This is a cultural calling from the Uptown Boys. Sounds to summon all nations inner tribal to gather and make it known. A call for change has been heard. For decades, Native Americans like Mary Phillips, who is Laguna Pueblo and Omaha, have stood in protest battling to persuade schools, colleges, and professional sports teams like the Washington Redskins to drop American Indian names and mascots that many people deem derogatory. You don't even say the word Redskins. You even asked me not to say it in the interview. Forgive me. I just want to put it in reference here. You refer to it as the R word. Why? Because it's a word that conjures up so many horrible thoughts. Um, and it is uh, a slur towards Native Americans for those who still haven't heard that. Trying to educate people to understand that this word, this team celebrates that, actually celebrates the color of my skin by saying that it is red and therefore we can call you this name that from, you know, history that proves that you are uh, worth $200, your, your scalp is worth $200, and people would hunt you down for that. Now, that is just the beginning of Kira's full story, which will air later tonight. But Kira is here with us now live to tell us a little bit more about this. Kira, that was quite a moment you had there. Native Americans have been protesting this team name for decades. So what tr finally drove this change now? Yeah, they sure have. And you know what it comes down to, Diane? It was the death of George Floyd uh, by the hands of Minneapolis police departments and the protests that we saw all across the country, actually all over the world, and this this call uh, for for social justice and, and to talk about racism and confront uh, not only uh, the issues with police, but also names on college teams, football teams, in particular, the Washington team. So, you know, all the, the, the Native leaders, the tribal leaders with whom I spoke said that was the big Beginning. This was a spinoff of the Black Lives Matter movement, all triggered by what happened in Minneapolis. But there's actually a little bit more to that as well. It wasn't like Dan Snyder, the only the owner of the team, had this uh, awakening for for social justice. You know, he he was he was absolutely insistent on not changing the name. And then what happened was investors came forward and and reached out to big sponsors like FedEx and Nike and said, you know, we're going to pull our billions of dollars unless you support changing this name. So when it came down to it, Diane, it really was the power of the dollar that changed this. But it did start with the protest and this call for justice around the world. That's really what got it going. But it did come down to money in the end. It so frequently does, Kira. And the current team name is just a placeover, uh, placeholder, I should say. So how are they doing on finding a permanent new name? Yeah, that's a good question. Apparently, they are in no rush. They are taking their time with this because it's a really big deal. And as you know, Diane, a lot of people are going to be weighing in on what they think the name change should be. So there really isn't a date for when we will hear what the official name is. Uh, but I can tell you, uh, Chief Billy, uh, and also who you will meet in this piece, he's the Indian chief for the Piscataway Nation, and then also Mary Phillips, uh, with whom you saw in that piece, uh, they like warriors. They think Warriors is a really strong name, and that should be a big contender. The Washington Warriors. I like it. Nice alliteration, too. Kira, thanks so much for the report. And you can see Kira's full report on ABC News Prime tonight at 7 Eastern right here on ABC News Live. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.